913 started as a crazy idea I had in 2011 with a way to be able to get kids riding bikes as part of their school curriculum. I was an elite level cyclist in a previous life and I really just wanted to be able to get the next generation passionate about the bicycle and all the power that two wheels bring. This time playing tricks on us. The way that we're moving, the days feel like hours to me. Our foundational program is kids riding bikes. It is essentially a big bike video game that we take into schools during the school day. We work with kids as a part of their physical education curriculum. And when we work with you know kindergartners, first graders, second graders, they just want to play the big bike video game. They get the joy of the bicycle, you know, that, that spark that it can light. For the older kids, we're really able to dive more into, you know, the muscle groups we're working with. We're doing a warm up and then a speed course, as we call it, and then a cool down. So we're taking them through the full arc of a workout. And so they're getting more of that knowledge and we're diving in a little deeper with some of that stuff. They can see their stats on the screen, especially the older students. They have the ability to see how fast they've gone, the energy they've put out, their time. About 10% of the kids we see for the first time have never been on a bike before they come into the gymnasium and get on our stationary bike since. It allows us to connect with kids that might not be the traditionally active students when it comes to participating in physical education, but to them it's a big video game. And so, they're eager to get on the bikes and oftentimes it's that student that might not excel in traditional sports that is just a rock star. For a lot of kids, the first sense of freedom they have, the first sense of independence. The aspect of the kids that have never been on a bike before Definitely my, my favorite, helping a kid pedal for the first time, spin the pedals around, because it was an experience I guess I, I took for granted. The bike was my mode of transportation to get around my neighborhood, but a lot of kids don't have that access anymore. For many of the kids we work with, it's a lifetime of transportation. The bicycle is a legitimate mode of transportation. We've got a whole generation of kids that it's just not really on their radar and they don't really know about it. So kind of shifting that perspective and lighting that spark so that's what's really cool about the program is it takes on all these different forms and accomplishes all these different goals and it's, it's about way more than a bike. When in 2012 we first launched, we served a thousand kids our first year. And last year in 2018, we served over 50,000 kids. We see about 150 kids per day per school site. We can be in four schools simultaneously, which means every week we're getting thousands of kids riding bikes, many of which are doing it for the very first time. I'm really proud of the fact we've never charged a public school a penny for programming, and I have no intention of ever doing so. It really becomes this very organic learning tool for all of these different life skills that uh, benefit the next generation. When you see a kid's face light up because they, they did it. You know, every time I work with a kid that isn't sure that they're gonna be able to do it, and then they do. The most gratifying part is just helping a lot of kids that not a lot of people give opportunities to have the opportunity to achieve something they weren't sure they could. Yeah.